What's up guys? I am back finally. Boy, it has been nine or ten days of, of hell, I guess. I guess you could say it was hell. It was certainly a rough period. Both Kathy and I got sick. I got sick first and actually Kathy is technically still sick. I promised you guys that I'd be back to vlogging a couple of days ago and I didn't get a chance to uh, uh, put that together. I had some problems with the camera, but I got a brand new camera, which pretty much the same camera that I had before, but it's a, uh, a new version. The other one wouldn't not a lot has happened uh, because uh, of being sick, just feeling like crap pretty much all the time. So, uh, uh, but there's a few things that I had to I have to wrap up before we get into today's vlog. And the number one thing is that I, I did a, um, a giveaway. Uh, we did a contest uh, a few weeks back or a, a couple weeks back, and I didn't get around to being able to uh, showcase the winner. We got a couple of videos in, but uh, this one especially stood out. This one from my buddy Jerry. Jerry's got a smart car. Uh, he comes to all the shows. He sent me this one. Fireball. I need a watch. A New York watch. One that's working. I only get twice a day on this watch. Help me. A little creepy, Jerry. A little creepy, but I gotta tell you, I think you're the winner. This one is the Tokyo watch. Super nice logo on the back. And the second watch, this is the New York watch, dark color. Logo on the back too, right there. Yeah, a couple of very nice watches. These are a couple hundred dollar watches, and uh, we were having a contest. I asked you guys to tell me. It's too hot in here. I asked you guys tell me why it is that you would want to have one of these watches. Why it would be important to you. Why it's important to tell time. Most people have time on their on their phones, but uh, some people still like to wear these watches. You know, pretty sick looking. I asked you to send a video in and and tell me why exactly. And the best video, the well, the creepiest video, certainly the most unique video came from my buddy Jerry. So of course, yeah, Jerry's the winner. Jerry, congratulations, you get to have one of these very cool watches and it's on its way to you. Uh, make sure you email me your address. I'm also gonna send you a couple other things just so you know, so if it shows up, it's a little bit bigger. Hey, and happy Easter, by the way, because today uh, is Easter, if, uh, if, it's, if I'm not mistaken. And you know what the best thing is about Easter? It's actually falling on April Fool's Day. The best thing by far about Easter is that my birthday is in two days, the third. I don't think I'm gonna be doing too much for my birthday because uh, Kathy's sick and, um, uh, well, we gotta wait for her to get better. But when she does get better, I'm gonna put a bunch of people together. We're gonna go out to dinner and do something like that. I don't know. Hey, we're almost started. I got some cars to show you today, but before we do, I wanna ma make sure that you guys check out my buddy Wes's new vlog. Wes is the Daily Driver Project. He decided to create his own vlog. His first vlog is pretty funny pretty good. I'll put a link down in the show notes down below. Make sure you click on that to go subscribe to his channel because he's freaking awesome. He takes phenomenal photos. He has all the car shows in Southern California. And plus he's an all around cool guy, despite the fact that he's got no hair. He's got a pipe. You want to borrow some? Check out his channel, become a fan, subscribe, do it. I am still driving, although technically I haven't been driving at all, uh, pretty much. Uh, I am driving the 2018 Genesis G90. It's a phenomenal car. I'll be able to talk a little bit more of that uh, on tomorrow's vlog. To give you a quick book update, we got a number of things happening. I got a project that I'm doing for the Volo Museum in Chicago. These are uh, Hollywood movie cars. Here's a couple of things. That's my son of the mass car. And that is a Jurassic Park car. It's pretty sick looking. So I'm only doing six images for these guys. Uh, technically not a, a book that we're producing, but they're gonna be producing. That's gonna look pretty good. And of course, I have the new Mustang book that's coming out, the Ford Mustang book. This is the Shelby GT350, otherwise known as the Eleanor. There's another one, and there's another one. And then we're also working on a, a Malibu book, a Malibu-only book. Uh, I only have a couple of images of this one, but um, this should be pretty cool. This is the cover. That's the cover of the book. There's the pier. Check it out. All the waves coming in. Hey, that's enough about that. Let's go drive some cool cars because my buddy Vladdy is going to meet me up at Starbucks. You know, we're going to drive. That's what we're going to do. I can't tell you how good it feels uh, to be out, even though it's a foggy day today. It was a rough period, man, but uh, things are good. And I'm back in the, um, this is the Genesis G90. 2018, uh, an incredible car. I haven't had a chance to drive it as much as I've wanted to. To give you a kind of a perspective on this car compared to the Cadillac that I was driving before that, the CT6. CT6, it was about 404 horsepower and about 88 grand. This one is 420 horsepower and about 72 grand. The, the Cadillac may be a little bit of a slicker model, but uh, 
This is quite extraordinary. The, the interior especially is an incredible. Looking for a luxury car, I uh, can't really beat something like this. I'm headed up to see my uh, my friend Vladdy up at Starbucks. He has brought in a couple of cars. I think a couple, maybe just one, but I know he's got a, a Chevy Impala that he was working on. Um, we might take it for a spin from the photos. It looked pretty cool, so I thought I'd bring you guys. It's a little bit of a gloomy day here in Malibu. Kathy's still sleeping. She's probably gonna sleep all day, but I'm gonna poke around. so tall. Maybe yeah. I'm short. I'm not sure. What about something like that? <laughs> that doesn't make me feel good, buddy. Yeah. Uh, this is Vladdy, and um, every now and then uh, he gets a cool car, brings it to Malibu, and we go for a spin. Exactly, and yeah. thank you so much, Fireball team, for having me here, like as usual. Last time we, we did a Jeep, and this time we have two awesome cars, yeah. a muscle car. Th these will be less cold than the Jeep. Yeah, the like Jeep, Jeep was very cold and very cold. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was 6 in the morning at the uh, yeah. podium. Uh, and about 600 horsepower. Uh, it's around 600 horsepower. Yeah, and this one is a little bit less, it's about no, 450. No safety whatsoever? No, of course no, no okay. safety. So tell me about these, what are, what are we going to drive today? Today we're going to drive a Chevy Impala 1965. Mm -hmm. This one who used to double Latino, a very famous mega car magazine, uh, design and build the car for mm -hmm. a celebrity, for Rey Mysterio, which is an American-Mexican wrestler fighter with a mask. Yep. So back in 2013 they did a TV show and for the TV show they built this car, Chevy Impala 1965, small block. And then uh, the second car is going to be a Camaro 1970. That's the Camaro right there. Yeah, exactly. This one actually my with few friends, few Italian friends here in downtown Los Angeles. We built up the, the car from scratch. It was a piece of a shelf, mm -hmm. rusty, mm -hmm. yellow, no engine, no transmission and in eight months we built the car. You're going to be selling both these? Both. Okay. Yeah. This is a, is a kind of like hobby. Yeah. I enjoy, I was born and raised uh, next to the Fiat headquarters in Torino. Mm -hmm. So the smell of the engine, oil, gas, and everything is inside of my DNA. So if, if you're interested in these kind of cars, where, where how do they find you? Well, uh, yeah, they can, uh, they can, I uh, will give email address, they can call me, or I will set up a website soon. And okay. I just, uh, they can find me in downtown Los Angeles <laughs> when you hear some noise. Right. Let's take that one. Time for the 70 Camaro. 
to try this out. Not as comfortable, as comfortable as the Impala. No. It's a little bit more like a movie car. Yeah. You want it either or you like it or you don't. I'm kind of short compared well, to you You want to go more? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good, man. It starts yeah. up like a charm. Yeah. But the smell, the smell in this car. Yeah, is unique. It smells like high school, buddy. Yeah. Not high school in Italy. No, no, yeah, high school. behind you know building these cars and um, and the excitement of going from something that looks like crap to something that looks like this uh, first of all is I mean the, 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 the full project starting from scratch from mm -hmm. a design from a piece of paper to a 3d design and then buying something that nobody wants and to build something that everybody wants yeah yeah from nobody is looking at the car to everybody you know looking at this car and say oh my god what, what, what is this how much does it cost how do you do that uh, are you selling it is 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 uh, is excitement is an experience mm -hmm. the experience about doing something that is as a purpose yeah doing yeah. something that is beautiful doing something that uh, makes you happy yeah well I, I think that the mona lisa nobody wanted for a period of time yeah you exactly. know and now, and now, and now it's worth uh, probably is priceless. Like you know, uh, Coco Chanel used to say, the most beautiful things in life are free. That's right. The second one are super expensive. <laughs> so if you are in Malibu with fireball team on the sunrise or the sunset, that is priceless. That's priceless. And then if you want to have a Chevy Impala 1965, that is hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> deciding which one you want to keep because it's it's they're kind of like die cast cars that you can fit in yeah but exactly. you can't collect all of them i can't you know i can't so uh and i also have a ford ranchero right now on the on the process because i sold my ford yeah and then i say oh my god i go surfing i go bicycle yeah biking what are you so gonna do where are you gonna put my 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 surfboard yeah. so i didn't want to buy another big truck so i saw a ford ranchero compton <laughs> Cruising around, I saw yeah. it. They were attacked, fifteen hundred dollar price, and they bought it. Yeah. Now I did the design again, design 3D and paper, everything, and then I tried to sell it, to build it up. but Isla's baby is right on the cusp. It's supposed to be April 4th. Don't know 100% for sure, but um, anything goes. It could happen today or it could happen in a week. Uh, not really sure. My birthday is on April 3rd. I uh, had some plans for that, but we're not gonna do anything until Kathy feels better. And when she does, we're gonna have a big party. But stick with me. It should be an interesting week. Mm -hmm.